Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here, and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. So, you guys are going to have to watch me rake for a while while we talk about a couple of things. And I really do have several things to talk about. Uh, the first thing I want to talk about right off the bat is... Uh, let me get my little list cheat sheet here. Okay. So, um, the first thing I'm going to say is thank you so much to everyone for all the support and love uh, on the latest video I've done. Well, the latest videos I've done. Um... I'm really happy. I'm really happy that I now have YouTube sponsors unlocked. And I know a lot of people have it too, but it's something I've been trying to get for a very long time. So I'm very happy to get it. So because that I have it now, I know that my schedule for the month of September is greatly reduced. I am still going to be streaming uh, on my scheduled days, but, 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 but I am going to be streaming a lot more now. The reason why is because the hype is so awesome, guys. It's so much hype. Uh, I am just going to try and stream as much as I can, whenever I can. I will be streaming probably to, well, probably everywhere, but for sure to YouTube because the hype is there. Stream that at me because we're doing the contest. We're going to talk about it in a second. And maybe even Twitch because I've been playing a lot of Fortnite and I love Fortnite. Um, so that's the first thing I want to talk about. The second thing I want to talk about is this Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. So Sunday, uh, I was going to say April. Gosh. Sunday, September 23rd. We are going to do, I am going to be doing a 20, no, no, sorry, sorry. An 18 hour stream. And we're going to be playing something. Let me show you guys what we're going to be playing. We are going to be playing. Oh, no, my tin. It got it got messed up a little bit. Oh, well. we are going to be playing. It's backwards, but that says being boozled. So um, if you've ever played this before, you know what it is. So we're going to be playing that. I'm going to give some more. Um, I'll be giving a little bit more of explanation how that's going to work that day. But if you guys want to be a part of that, make sure to come over to the stream on stream that I mean because we're going to be having lots of fun that day uh, the next thing I want to talk about is the tweet that we got now unfortunately I can't show you guys the tweet right now because my OBS is messing up but we got a tweet today saying starting midnight new story quest arrived plus more past avatar boards are back but only for a limited time and it looks like they are offering uh, Ariel King Triton a Jasmine and uh, the dressy Jasmine and Sultan uh, Aladdin. Um, if they give us enough quests to get us, man, I, I can really bummed out that this is bust. Okay. If they give us enough quests to get us to the next Keyblade, oh yeah. Um, and for those wondering, I think we're done here. Yeah, we're done here. Okay. So for those wondering, Let's go check out what Ariel King Triton. Oh, I haven't bought those yet. Oh, muffins. Okay. We got to buy them. Maybe not yet. Maybe not yet. Okay. So we want to find Ariel King Triton. Um, oh, wait. Where are they? Ariel King Triton. Jazz. Oh, there it is. Okay. So Ariel has. Uh, poison plus sleep plus oh the plus skills wow not that we use them anymore uh chips dales chips dales human duelist remember too you also get the titles from these so if that's really important to you know uh yep okay so those are the plus skills and then jasmine and fancy aladdin um AB2 plus APP, kind of, but a magic gem. It does have a magic gem if you haven't already collected these. Um, now, because they are giving us these um, quests back again, oh, sorry, these avatar boards, because they are re releasing it, it is very possible that they are going to release a lot of the ones that come later down the line that if you weren't able to get them, might be really worth getting them because there are some later down the line, like here that have some pretty good stuff in them so you know maybe it's worth waiting out a little bit 
you know, waiting for it a little bit um, and then getting them. I don't know. The quests, too, are very interesting. I'm really excited to see what the quests are going to bring us. Okay, next thing I want to talk about. The next thing I want to talk about is pets. The pet system that was just released in JP. Okay, so... Um, I don't know much about them. The only thing I know is a couple of things that I saw DHE talk about. Um, but... And this is something I kind of want to explain to you guys why I don't make videos about this. Why I send you guys to other people. Like right now, DHE, Lightkeeper L, and I know a lot of other people are also making videos about this JP stuff. I focus on global. I like global. I don't speak Japanese. I don't pretend to speak Japanese. I don't want to play JP. I don't want to play a JP person. And there are so many content creators and streamers out there who are already playing it and showing it and explaining it that I I'm not one that I'm not one that's gonna go to that. I'm going to stay in global. I'm gonna enjoy global. And the reason why I am not going to be um reading stuff about it or watching videos. I know there's a lot of videos out there about the pet system already explaining a ton of stuff. I want to stay surprised, okay? I mean, I don't want to. Sp I, I don't want spoilers. I don't like spoilers. For anyone who's hung out on one of my streams, you guys know I don't enjoy spoilers. So, I'm not looking for spoilers right now. I'm perfectly fine with waiting. If we get pets tomorrow, uh, if we get pets, you know, a week from now, a month from now, whenever we get them. I'm going to wait till we see them. You never know. Sometimes they change things for us. They release them differently. Uh, I will ask. I w this is something I am going to do. I am going to ask DHE's advice and ask her, is there something I should do? Should I save Jewel some for something? Should I save a certain metal for something? Should I get a particular keyblade or do something to prepare myself to be able to get... To be able to be prepared for something. I don't want all of the spoilers. I don't want the walkthrough of the whole system. But if there is any good advice that she can give me, I will gladly listen and take it. Um, yes, proper. It ends. That's the spoiler right there. So, um, yeah. So with pets, guys, you guys are not going to see me go through this rambling explanation about it or things like that. I don't really do videos like that. I talk about the updates we have right now. Um, we have updates in the game. We always have updates in the game. And whenever we have an update in our, in our game, in the global game, I'll talk about it. You know, we'll look through it. Uh, we'll talk about it. We'll analyze it. We'll try and play it in our own version. I've also asked DHE, hey, is there a metal I should be saving up for in the future? She has told me. So, you know what? I'm, I have those things in mind. I have my thought process in mind. Uh, but yeah, I'm not, you guys are not going to see me go into an in-depth explanation about the pet system right now. Um, and you know what? If you guys really want to hear about it, like I said, go check out Lightkeeper L. I know he's done a really good video. I don't know if the erroneous one has done one. I don't know if you're here still, dude. Um, uh, Monster D-Face probably has some out there too. And of course, the HE, who is my go-to person for JP stuff. Um, yeah, just go check out. I'll leave links down below in the description of the people that I can think of to go to their channels. Um, and you know what? I'll even link at the end of this video a link to... I know DHE's video because I've seen it. Well, I haven't seen it, but I saw in my feed whenever she released it. So I'll leave a link to that for the pets if you guys want to learn more about that. Uh, but personally for me, not something I'm really going to... You know, I'm not going to delve into too much. I am more than happy playing the current game I have. And more than happy waiting to till we get them. Which brings me to the next thing I want to talk about. The next thing I want to talk about is that banner up there. The EX Metal deal with HD Xion. Now. A lot of people have been. A lot of people want me to pull from this banner. And. I agree that HD Xion is amazing. She is the mercy banner. She is the mercy pull here. Um, Roxas, you know, Egg X, Egg EX is just a, a dream. If I were to get him, if I pulled, that would be wonderful. But I'm not holding my breath or chasing after him. HD Xion is a mercy pull. Now, am I going to pull for HD Xion? Probably yes. 
Uh, right now, I am trying to find out if there's a way that I can get some money to be able to do it. And if I can, then I will do it. Am I going to 10 times pull her? No, I don't have. I can't afford that. Do a five time pull? Yeah, maybe. I, I might do five. I might do a five pull on her um, to mercy her. Now, let me kind of explain why I've been so hesitant to do it. For those of you who've been watching my channel for a while, you guys know that when HD Namine came out, Namibe, when Namibe came out, should we call it Shiambe? Should we call this one Shiambe? I don't know. It doesn't sound as good as Namibe or Kairi Bay. Shibe? Shiobe? I don't know. Um, so when Namibe came out, I mercyed her. I used Fantasia Mickey Bees to guilt her. And then I never used her. And let me explain why that was. Namibe, Shibe, Shibe, yeah. Namibe was made for Divine Rose fourth slot, right? To be able to copy the next metal after it. At the time, World of Final Fantasy Sephiroth, um, if you were lucky enough to have the other Sephiroth or then Dark Riku, she was wonderful. And yes, I am using her in that way now. But, and let me show you guys. So, this is currently how I use Namibe in my setups. Oh, I don't even have a setup with her in there. Okay, so sometimes I'll drop her in here. I'll drop her over here where JNS is. Um, now, this is, this is why I didn't use Namibe for so long. And I know a lot of people were like, you're using her incorrectly. Why do you have her in the in the first slot copying um, Kyrie Bay instead of having her in the fourth slot copying your heavy hitter? The reason why I did not use Nami Bay for so long as a copy metal for my fifth slot was because of this beautiful metal. Yes, Nami Bay was a game changer when she came up. Well, a meta changer to a way when she came out. The problem is I already had this beautiful game-changing metal. And to this day, I still use this beautiful game-changing metal because of those traits right there. Ground and extra attack on this metal that has a 2.5, 2.94 multiplier. It's amazing. It's absolutely amazing. And when I got Namibe, she did not get a hundred. Let's see, tier four, tier five. What's Namibe? What is Namibe? She's tier five. When I got Namibe, I did not get 150%. I did not get 125%. I did not get 100%. I got what? 77, 76, 60. I forget what I got. But I got such a horrible guilt on her, and I was not able to trade her. Now, now she's worth it, okay? But the reason why I did not use Namine for so long, H Namine, was because I had JNS. That's why I didn't use her, because what was the point of using her in that fourth slot when JNS did so much more for me? The damage JNS has done was wonderful. Namine never equaled that. It, she never even came close to it until I got that ground trail on her. Okay? So, that's why I'm afraid of pulling for HD Xion. And yes, I know that HD Xion is made for Moogle of Glory. I get it. I completely understand. And I know that she's made for a lot of other, uh, other setups and a lot of other Keyblades. Um, but it still comes down to the fact that personally for me, I did not, I do not have, well, I don't have really awesome, I don't have any EX medals for her to copy. And now I have this guy. <sighs> he doesn't have double cast. I forgot. I thought he had double cast. If he had double cast. He's beautiful. 
He's beautiful for that slot. He even now he is. And I do want to try and set up, make a Moogle of Glory for raiding. I haven't had a chance yet. I really would love. I really would love to have a Moogle of Glory for raiding. But for those of you who have been wondering why am I so hesitant to pull for not for HD Xion, this is the reason why. That's the reason why. I'm so hesitant to do it because what if the same thing that happened with Namibe happens with HD Xion? Okay. What if that happens? It's such a difficult situation. And even if I mercy her and I use Fantasia Mickey B's, what if I get the lowest guilt? I have a lot of other reverse metals with really great traits that make them really powerful. Yes, I can spend a bunch of mirrors to max out HD Xion, and that's probably what's going to happen. So I'm just trying to explain what's going on here. Okay, I'm just kind of trying to explain why my reasoning has been. And yes, I do have some jewels. Those jewels are, might be used for something else, depending on what happens later tonight. Some of you know what that is. But yeah, I'm, I'm saying it right now. If I can, if I can find uh, the money that I, I'm looking for right now, if I can get it, then I will. I will mercy HD Xion because she is awesome. I'm not trying to say she's not awesome. That's not what I'm saying. For those of you who wondered why I pulled so many times from the from the Sumsum uh, banner, it's because those pulls were sponsored. You guys and the viewers and my fans, you know, donated money for me to pull for them. That's why I pulled from there. Do I want an HD Xion? Of course I want. Do I possibly want Egg uh, Eggy X? Of course I do. He would be amazing. But I know what my RNG is. I know what my luck is. It's possible that I will mercy HD Xion. It's possible that I will get the worst guild possible. It's and I'm not going to have any traits on her. I know I can probably get traits for her in the future, but that's just the process of saying guys. So you guys are, you know, more than likely you guys are going to see me pull for HD Xion. More than likely you guys are going to see me get a horrible guilt on HD Xion. And more than likely you guys are going to see me put a bunch of mirrors into HD Xion and be super salty about it. So that's just what I want to say, guys. Uh, and of course, with the EX medals, I, I'm not pretending that I'm going to get any of them. I've pulled, as you guys have seen, I've pulled for the EX medals. I haven't gotten anything yet. If I get one, great. That's awesome. But I'm not doing it. I'm not going to pull from that this banner hoping that to get, like thinking, you know, I might get a Roxas EX. No, I'm not thinking that. I'm going to pull 4 HD Xion and I'm going to accept and expect that my RNG will not be the best. But anyway, so hopefully we'll get those soon. Yes, I will be getting those. That was a weird noise. Sorry. <laughs> hopefully I will be getting those raid board, uh, the avatar boards. I will be getting the avatar boards as well. You guys are going to see in the future. You guys are going to see a lot more happening in the future. I'm sorry this video is so long, guys. It just, I, a lot to talk about. If you guys want to come to the stream this Sunday, it's going to be amazing. I have such, I have lots of cool stuff planned. Sorry, that wasn't very good. There you go. Um, we have a lot of really fun stuff planned that's going to happen. I am going to be streaming a lot more the, for the rest of this month and for next month probably. Um, even though my schedule really doesn't permit it. You know what? We're throwing caution to the wind. We're celebrating because I finally got that sponsor on YouTube. Got guys, the sponsorship on YouTube is real. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna go for it. So thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I am Duj2. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.